Hey guys, Kalzerath here with a second tutorial for RPG Maker. This time I've turned the volume down. I'm so sorry about that. So you didn't know. Um, anyway. I think what we do is we start off by, um, making a cutscene. Now this is a bit tricky, but what we would want to do is, let's say we want to have a cutscene play upon entering the room. Now how we do this is we put in a teleport insert. Change switch. Current switch is strong box, and we'll put in play scene. Okay. Okay. Now what we'll have in here is we'll have. Well, let's do. Um. I might think these two two gangsters are talking. Okay. Um. Gangsters talking, that's what we do. We make their switch the play scene. Excuse me. So then they'll only do it once that switch has been flipped. Then what you want is you want in a um not push key auto start. I think auto start. That means as soon as you enter the room, they'll begin. Actually we don't need him to do anything. Think about it. We have him auto start insert show message. Actually, I'm gonna select the face. Um you can be this dude, he looks tough. And he can be like Hey dude. Oops. Dude, we need Ketchup. And what you want to do is we have the whole, like, two people talking back and forth. We change the face in between. We will have this other dude be, he can be this frog. And set the display position to the right. That, that'll put that on the right of the screen. Making it look as though he's actually talking with someone else. And then you'll put in the show message. Yeah, man. Mustard two. And then what you can do is if you have that, you can go flip a switch. Oops, go like that. Change switch to mm, scene act two. And, and if you want to do this, you can put new page switch scene act two insert. Let's see, where, where would move be? Like, let's see, you want to move, walk around. Movie clip. Make sure the object is this event, and you can choose where he'll go. So let's make him go left, 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 right, right, like he's pacing. Pacing around. Insert. Select face, select his face. Select right, change the position. Insert message. Nah, man. Let's forget the st stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I can't type today. <laughs> so. Oh, Jesus. That. No, come on now. So, if we did that. So, he's busy tweaking out. And then, what we want to do here is on his second switch, is you want yet another switch. Switch B. Change switch to scene watched. Okay. Okay. Actually, well, here's what we do. This gives you a really cool effect. If you do your ice screen, we'll just do fade out. Change switch, new page. Get rid of his graphic by selecting this none. Make sure it's below player. Push key. Insert. Oops. Have that. You show screen. Fade in. Make sure it's auto start. Sorry about that. Insert. Change switch. Be a 
is quite confusing, isn't it? I know this is a really tedious method of it, and there probably is a better one, but I'm gonna make his second one because he, he. Oops, delete that. He actually doesn't do anything, but he doesn't really see much for his. Set it to you. Nothing. No. I should play this. Hey, dude, we need ketchup. Yeah, mustard, too. Hmm, let's forget the stuff. Fade in? Fade out? Oh, god, it didn't work. Oh, <laughs> oh geez. So, we have to go back in and go through everything. Oop, oop, there we go. It's gotta be under scene watched. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. There, now they're gone, and you're in the house. Like you walked in on something, pretty neat. Yeah, and that goes away. Work standard. So, there we go, that was how to make a really basic cutscene. So, geez, six minutes. I, I'm sorry it took so long. But, um, yeah, I think we'll call that good for this tutorial, and see you guys next time.